Obviously with Grand Prairie folding today, I don't know if we're opening up on Thursday next week yet or not. So. Earlier today, the Grand Prairie Athletics requested a year of absence from the NPHL. Taylor says that they're in a similar situation that the Canucks were in last year, lacking a full roster of committed players and some sponsorship issues. The Fort St. John Flyers will still open the season on Saturday when they host Manning. After that, teams will partake in a conference call to hash out what they're going to do in regards to the schedule and league structure. Things are going well in the Mile Zero City though, as they've got that much needed executive in place. Rick Gies came in as a president. He had former experience with the Junior Canucks. Uh, his son Jason Gies uh, also played for the Junior Canucks for quite a while and has done some coaching. Jumped on as the GM. The team is also finalizing someone for their head coaching position with an announcement expected this weekend. As for the roster, chemistry shouldn't be an issue with a lot of guys returning from previous years. It's uh, about 90% guys from two years ago. Um, some guys have came back, maybe took a year off and come back. And then, uh, like I said, a few guys coming in from out of town that are, that are joining on. Graduated junior Canuck and former captain Connor Rose is going to join the team this year as well. Most of the senior seeds played rec hockey last year, so they aren't out of shape or anything but there are some things the guys are getting readjusted to. We did a few drills there a couple nights ago as far as practice and that felt a bit weird, but uh, not too rusty. Like going back into contact hockey is uh, going to be a bit of a change and you don't really get that probably till your first shift. The team knows what they'll have to do to win games this year. They have some flashy offensive minded scores, but can't ignore their own end if they want to compete with the league's best. We don't have a problem scoring, but that defensive Hockey is, is kind of where we've struggled the last few years. It's it's really tough to to go into a, a game against Spirit River Fort St. John and, and play a run and gun 10-9 game. It's just not how you're going to win. Whenever the Senior Canucks home opener is, they're looking for a full Memorial Arena. Though the team realizes it'll be easier to get people in the stands if they put out a good product on the ice. The better you play and... Uh, the more wins you start piling up, the more people are going to show up. But we're really excited about it um, from a community standpoint. I know there's a lot of people excited about senior hockey being back in Dawson Creek. Um, we definitely appreciate all the support that we have um, from the community as far as sponsorship and, and uh, volunteers. Derek Lightfoot, CJDC TV Sports, Dawson Creek.